so pretty. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. Guys, I think I'm about to cry. It's Christmas. <laughs> it's Christmas. My music. <laughs> Ready for Iceland. Sarah, I love you. Oh wait, this is the Pantheon. I like how you can go inside of the other places. Like, um, just made it to the airport. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Christina Renee. And so today I'm going to be doing my travel vlogs a little bit differently. Well, at least for this video, I'm gonna start off with the day before I get on the plane, like before I go on my flight, like I'm gonna basically show you guys how I'm preparing for my trip because Iceland, it's a very cool place, but I'm kind of intimidated a little bit just because of the weather. It's so cold there and it's like where I'm from, like, in Maryland, like the East Coast, like it's very cold. Like there's been years where it's been like below 30 degrees and everything, but Iceland, it's supposed to be like 36 degrees, maybe. I know it was like that last week, so hopefully it's like that or warmer when I get there. I have some things I forget, like so far, I have this jacket from Zara. If you guys saw like my shopping vlog, I think that was when I got this. Um, looks like that. You guys have seen me wear it before, but. Just wearing this, the jeans are from Mango. Ooh. Oh, I thought that was something. It's just the design. Um, the design is pretty interesting. Then I'm wearing these boots from H&M. Literally, you guys have seen me buy all this except for this top. Like, I brought this top with me from home. But yeah, I love these jeans, so nice. Perfect for winter, perfect for the cooler weather. And these hoops, and yeah, it's pretty much my outfit. It's like an overcast day today in Rome. The sun is not out today. But I'm walking to the meeting point that my friend and I are meeting up at. And then we're gonna go shopping. And then I'm gonna get my nails done. And then possibly get some food out. I may not eat in today. Also, I just realized my lips were a bit chapped, so I'm not sure how long you guys had to see that. But um, I quickly put on my lip and mint the shine. Um, hopefully it focuses and you guys can see it. Okay. This always is like a struggle, like getting things to focus on camera. Maybe if I do this. My camera, I don't know what it does, but sometimes it just doesn't focus on what it needs to focus on. But yeah, I basically have this lip mint the shine from Bath and Body Works. It's been a holy grail since middle school. It's about like $8, $7 and some change, but it's so worth it. Like, I would recommend anyone to get this, like, no matter if you have chap lips or not. Like, this is just a staple and it smells so good. Like, literally, it's so bomb. Like, just get it. Like, it's amazing. Like, yeah. But quickly put that on. And yeah, I'm just waiting for my friend right now. And then I'm going to head over to shopping. So, it's going to get it pretty interesting soon. <laughs> the weather is super nice today. My friend's right there. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we are going to Pico's actually. Change of plans, we're gonna eat before we go shopping. And so there's this place called Pico's that I heard has really good food. And I'm not sure what I want because they have like these nacho platters that are really big and really like very filling. Because I saw um, one of my roommates, she had it last night. She told me it was really good. And then I was like, hmm, let me try that. I've never tried that before. I've never even heard of Picos, and then they also have oh what is that that looks so pretty guys look at this this is why i love rome oh you came here before 
Oh, here? That one. This one? Oh, cool. This is so pretty. That's what I love about Rome. Everywhere has good architecture. Like, that's one thing I can say about Rome in general. The architecture here, so, so good. And I have on my Apple Maps the location. Okay, it's still straight. We still go straight and then make a right, like right there. But yeah, so um, Picos, they also, not only do they have like good natural platters, but they also have like really good burritos. So I'm really excited. I think I'm gonna get a burrito because it kind of reminded me of Chipotle almost, like when I saw it. Yeah, another thing about Rome is that strangers will talk to you like randomly. Um, yeah, that's just one other thing to mention. Hello. That guy just also just proved my point. Another stranger saying hi, but it's okay. It's okay. It's fine. But yeah, um, this architecture, guys, amazing. Have you been this way before? Yeah. Yeah, I have not. I always go like on the main road. I never come through the back streets or the alley. So this is nice. Oh no, Pico's is literally closed. Are you kidding me? On Apple Maps it says open, but on Safari. Wow. It says open. I always see the river at night, but it's so pretty in the daytime. It's so pretty, and then there's also live music playing. Like on this bridge, there's always usually people like um, just crowding, like and talking, like especially at night. But it's very nice to hear the live music. I love that. I love live music so much. I want to go to a restaurant here with live music. music is just always such a vibe like there's nothing else to say nothing else to say this fountain looks so cool guys look at this place guys it looks like some sort of museum maybe like a mini museum or it might be bigger, I can't tell. This looks super cool. I might have to come back here for sure because I love paint. I love artwork. I love all that type of stuff. And this looks really cool. So this place is the place I need to come back to. Guys, look at the Fendi store. So cool. One day when I get like a decent amount of money, I will come here. For now, we're saving. Guys, oh my gosh, look at these sets. This is the Fendi store still. Private suites. Private suites, okay. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, you know the Duomo in Milan actually has like private suites where you can stay like inside the Duomo. The meals there are 44 euros. The meals there are 44 euros? Hmm, it's not really, I would pay that much. It's luxury, it's not a bad thing. But we have to save money, I like to budget. I'm not, I'm not extremely frugal, but I'm not an extreme spender either. And I feel like that's a good place to be. But we made it to H&M. We're going to eat at H. We're actually not going to eat at H and M, but we're going to we're going to shop first because we want food after. I'm hungry, but I want to shop, and I have to get my mask. So yeah, that's what's going on right now. Shopping time. This turtleneck is giving what it's supposed to give. It's so pretty. I love this. I have a, a turtleneck that's exactly like that, but from Zara. It's maybe a little shorter, like maybe like this much shorter than that one, but it's super cute. But I always gravitate towards things that I um, have. It's so funny. I'm trying to decide if I want a white beanie. Uh, yeah, I have a green. Okay, that's like an ivory. That one behind me. If you guys can see that white beanie. I'm trying to think if I want this white one. It's like a basic white one, but it's it's giving Iceland. I feel like it's giving Iceland. This one looks like it might have a little something on it, maybe. Maybe what? I don't know. Wait, guys. This one is the same as that one. It was just flipped around. I don't really like this sign on it. I like more simple things when I wear my clothing. So that kind of ruins it, but it's okay. I'm going to find something else, I'm sure. Literally all the fall clothes are out. So nice. And I also need a leather jacket at some point. I don't need anything too, too bulky because I do have to go home. Like in December. So... I'm not trying to buy anything that's too bulky um, that'll gonna, 
that's going to take up too much of my luggage because I'm already getting like a second additional big luggage and that's going to be very annoying because if you guys saw my traveling from New York to Rome vlog then you know like I had a lot of stuff with me so I don't know how I'm going to carry a second luggage but I have to because I got too much stuff since I've been here so it's like kind of inevitable at this point this dress is cute right here and also there's like a line for the elevator I think maybe is the escalator working I'm not sure maybe people have to walk up the stairs I mean I kind of want to get on the elevator now found the socks I mean I already have socks but if I needed it they're here I just need to find oh these are knee-high socks you need um longer socks oh you don't want knee-high <laughs> okay um the longer ones I think these might be good okay um I actually didn't find anything that I wanted in H&M and this happens a lot, more than usual when I go there, but I'm going to Zara instead because I just have a feeling I'm going to find something I like there. Like every time when I'm just in doubt, like I just go to Zara and I find something that's just amazing, like this jacket. If you guys saw the shopping vlog, I had went, I think it was H&M actually, and I was just like, hmm. I feel like Zara might have something that I really like. And then I went to Zara and I found this like immediately. Like it was in the front, I think, as well. So, you know, that's what's going on. We're going to Zara and hopefully I find gloves and maybe a scarf. Yeah, I need a scarf, maybe a leather jacket as well. So we'll see. And I'm honestly hungry. So, you know, trying to get this Iceland preparation. Oh wait, oh, we're going the wrong way. Oh, is it this way? guys look at this this is called a christmas store i don't know why it's like the lights are like flickering like that on camera but it's not like that in person i think lights just do that in general but it's so pretty oh my gosh so pretty so pretty oh my gosh this is so nice literally i'm coming back here guys i'm coming back to this place yes. Very much, very coming back to this place around. Go in right now. Do you want to go in now? Just to okay, let's go in. I should go to my but we have so many ornaments on Oh my gosh, look at these things. Oh my gosh. They have nutcracker. Oh my gosh, this store is so cute. Guys, I think I'm about to cry. It's Christmas. It's Christmas. I might cry in here. No, like this feels like home. Like I don't know how to explain it, but I feel like I'm back home. Like what? 64 days till Christmas. Okay, that sounds too far, but I'll I will be home for Christmas. Yeah. Guys, hear the Christmas music. I don't want to get copyrighted, but I might cry. I might cry right now. This just feels like home. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy right now. So, of course, on the way to Zara is mango, and you guys know I love mango. I love me some mango. I went here in Barcelona and I got like two pairs of jeans. Actually, the jeans I'm wearing right now are from that trip when I went to Barcelona, and that mango was super big, super nice. But this one is also good as well. And I'm just gonna quickly skim, see if they have any gloves, any uh, oh, they do have scarves. Okay, check these out. See if I like any of these, if I want them. Found some gloves. <laughs> trying to see. Well, I don't mind what the price is. I'm just trying to see if these are good quality, like if they get lenty or not, like super lenty. It's kind of, okay, let's see. So I actually didn't really like the gloves that they had. Like they were only like 12 euros. It was a good deal. It's just the material of them wasn't my preference. So I'm headed to Zara now. Hopefully they have good gloves. Um, preferably like touch screen ones where it's like I can use my phone while I'm wearing the gloves because that's what I really want. Like some, you know, decent quality um, gloves. And then whatever else I see. Like if I see a nice scarf, then I'll get that as well. But that's pretty much what's going on right now. There is the Apple store, like right there. Oh, 
guys, can you see me? This is pretty cool, I like it. And then they have this red one to promote their phones. Super cool. We have arrived at Zara now, and it's always crowded, like, always super crowded, but I came here for a mission. Mission gloves, mission scarf, and whatever else I need. Ooh, I see scarves over here. Ooh, hello guys. Hello world. Um, what is this? Is this what I need? Is this what I need? Are these middens? The cashmere. What is this? Are these socks? These scarves look really nice though. Guys, 119 euros for the scarf, so I think I'm gonna politely, respectfully pass on you for right now because I'm trying to save money here. But I'm sure there's more scarves around that are more more affordable for my budget. And my my uh, wallet will thank me later for making the right choice. Wait, this outfit is so cute. I love this outfit. I'm literally seeing so much cute stuff. Oh my gosh. Guys. I found um, I found some leather gloves. These are actually my style, so I think I'm gonna get one of these. Maybe the brown ones, I'm not sure yet. On our way upstairs, and I'm definitely getting these gloves right here. I really like these. These are definitely my style, so I like them for that reason. Yeah, this is Lemon Focus HD quality now. So I found some more scarves. These are, um, all different colors. They're better prices too for me, for my budget. But I'm trying to think about which color I want because this is my jacket that I wear the most during winter. Well, during the colder months right now, autumn. So I don't really like, well, want this one. I don't prefer that one. But I'm thinking about this one or maybe this one. And then they have another one right here, this color. So I might just try the one and see which one I like the best. Okay. This is the scarf, this is what it looks like. And the color is kind of clashing and I feel like this is something I learned in high school. I took like this fashion class. They said that sometimes if you wear colors that like are too similar but like opposites in a certain way, like if you're mixing like warmer or cooler tones of the same color, then it kind of can clash. And I feel like that's kind of what's happening right now. Like these two colors are like very similar but they're kind of clashing in my opinion. And I'm trying to think how would I wear this. I haven't worn a scarf in so long, like honestly. And this one is very good quality though, I can tell, like it's very thick. Um, I'm trying to think, how do I wear them? Guys, forgive me, I forgot how to wear a scarf. No, this is not how you wear a scarf. How do you wear a scarf? I'm so used to like infinity scarves. You literally just put it on, then wrap it, and then put it over. Okay, I'm gonna try another one on. Okay. Okay guys, we're here option two and I like this it's just how would I wear this that um yeah it kind of reminded me of the thermals my grandfather wears I don't know that's not a bad thing it's just a reminder like of that so I think I might try something else. The pattern. <laughs> yeah, the pattern. It's, it looks different than when you're looking at it versus when you actually try it on. I like it though. It, it makes me feel very warm. Like I'm hot right now. Like wearing it. Um, very good quality. Zara, you really are doing good with the quality. Very good. That's why I come here. Okay. So we have two options here. Which one will I buy? Because I have to buy one. I have to. I'm going to Iceland. I have to get one. So it's either going to be that one or this one. So which one shall it be? We're gonna find out. I don't like the colors in this. I mean, maybe, maybe it'll work. Maybe it'll work. I feel like my complexion, my skin tone likes this. It looks good with it. It balances it out, so it looks good. But I'm gonna try this. One. This, this is giving me like beach towel vibes, like. Like a beach towel, like that I would take to a beach. So I'm like, uh, not, not the vibe I'm going for. Nope. So, I guess if I have no other options, then it's gonna have to be this one. This one is not a bad option. 
It's just the color of my jacket with this that is like slightly throwing me off of it, but I think I like it overall. And then I have to figure out how do I wear scarves. I mean, I think this might be okay, but I have to look up the actual fashion trend. And yeah, I think I'm good for Iceland now. I'll just kind of, I don't know, double up or something like that. Like double it up when I go to Iceland tomorrow. But I think that's good. I mean, I have gloves, I have this. So I think I'm all set. I mean, okay. I might just grab my. So far, I'll just show you guys what it's looking like for my. What I'll be looking like when I go to Iceland. I think my accessories, they all tie into each other. Um, Cause the brown goes with the gloves. And then this purple is like a nice pop of color because everything else is Accent like color, yeah. So, I think I'm good. Zara, you, you sponsored this whole video. Well, they didn't sponsor the whole video. Zara did not sponsor this video. But Zara, please sponsor me because I'm literally buying all your clothes. So, my whole outfit is pretty much from Zara. From up here and up. So, come on. It's a no-brainer. Guys, look at these shirts. Oh my gosh, I have to get one of these and then I'm done. I'm done spending money. I always say that. Yeah, I'm always shopping, but... I'm trying to think, which one do I want? Do I want something like this? Or... I definitely don't want a pop of color right now. I mean, not like this, not the pink. But this is kind of like more toned down. So I'm thinking about this. They have a small size here. So I'm trying to think, do they have extra small? Um, okay, the small should be fine, honestly. I really like this top and I can see myself wearing it. So I think I want to get this as well. I don't know why, but this jacket is giving me like Billy Ellis vibes, like the green. Also, this is what I'm looking like. I have the scarf, I have the gloves. I am ready for Iceland, like, mask up. So yeah, I am ready for Iceland. This is definitely gonna be like one of the intro things, I already know. But yeah, chill vibes today, fun, fun stuff. This jacket also is pretty cute, I like it. Guys, look at my friend's jacket. It's so cute. I love it. Super pretty. Super cute. I love this. And she's getting hot in it, which is a good sign. These are super cute. Guys, currently about to check out. And a cheat code I always do is I come to the top floor, the men's section. And I check out here because the other floors are always so crowded. So I always come up to the highest floor or the men's section because usually it's not that crowded. At least for this are in particular. Just got our purchases. I got everything I needed, the gloves, the shirts, the scarf, and I feel good about it. And we are on our way to get some food finally because I'm so hungry right now and tired. And I low-key have to use the bathroom. Not okay. <laughs> Sorry, I love you. The fountain looks so pretty. Guys, one of my favorite gelato places, Venki, that I always come to when I come in this area, they have another one, like a second one in the same area. Like, they have them all over. Look, this one is just a very small one compared to the other one that I usually go to in this area. But that's so cool. I love it. And then down here. Oh, wait, I know this area. Unless this is the. Oh wait, this is the Pantheon. I did not know that. Wait, I think, have I seen this before? Have I seen it? I, I can't remember if I passed by this or not. Oh my gosh. I have to come back here and get tickets. Can you go inside, like how you can go inside of the other places, like um, St. Peter's Basilica and things like that? Like, can we go in? I think you have to book in advance for tickets. Oh, that's awesome. Then yeah, I'm definitely coming back in this area to come inside so pretty okay guys so we made it to picos and picos is open now so i'm very very excited to try the food picos this is the menu they have so many different options so many to choose from so i'm so excited for the food i ordered a california burrito and churros with what how do you pronounce it Tos, dulce de leche dulce de leche 
Yeah, that's caramel basically. So I got it with caramel. And I originally wanted the American mac and cheese, but they were out of all their mac and cheese options. Like they had like mac and cheese with chicken and then like other mac and cheese options, but I wanted like the regular American one because I love mac and cheese at home. And I haven't eaten it since like I've been in America, but I'm excited for that. And then my friend, she also got California burrito and chips and guac. Yes, chips and guac. So I'm excited to see how she likes hers because she got the chips and guac and guacamole is a must. My California burrito just got here and hers as well. I'm gonna show you guys the inside. Actually, you can't really see it. The lighting is not the best, but maybe turn my flash on. You guys can see it. That's what it looks like. And also my churros with the caramel sauce just came, so I'm excited for that. Also, this is what I'm looking like. This is my outfit before I'm about to head out. Um, the scarf, you guys know, Zara. I got my Ray-Bans on, and by the way, this was such a good purchase that I made in Florence. These are my first pair, but they're so good. And I love the style of them. Like, I love them. So if you guys were wondering where they're from, that's where they're from. And then this jacket is from Zara. These leggings are from Amazon, actually. And then these shoes are from H&M. So that's my OOTD for the day. And now I'm about to go to uh, the nail salon, finally. And then after that, you guys already know the deal. You guys already know what's going on, but yeah. Okay, so I'm almost to the nail salon and I'm just passing by the tiramisu place. It's like over there. Okay guys, so I just left the nail salon and these are my nails. I love their nails, this nail salon is so good. Like, I can show you guys what it looks like better. But I love this color. This is the color 081 in at Yo-Yo Nails. So if you guys live in Rome or if you ever come to Rome and you want to get your nails done, I would definitely suggest going to Yo-Yo Nails because they literally are so nice. Like I love them so much. It's actually I'm a married couple who runs like they own the place and they're so nice. Like I love talking to them. Like they're so nice. They, you know, ask me about like the school I study at and they ask me like, you know, um, little questions about me so it's like it's not like okay I'm just in and out like they care about the customers and you know they're just very nice so I like that like it's good customer service and they do very good nails like my nails last very long like um, yeah so I like this color a lot so if I ever want to get it again I know what to get it's called 081 and now I'm headed off to the tiramisu place because before my flight I want to get something to eat and yeah, I left all my stuff like um, with my friend. She has my stuff right now at her apartment because I did not want to lug that all around everywhere. Um, but yeah, I am headed off and it was a good morning. Good start to the day. Um, good start to the day. And I just really like my outfit today. I mean, even though it's like very simple, it's like perfect for my little errands and my little runs today so i like it the scarf really complements it like i really like the scarf like that's what i really like about my outfit is this scarf it really ties everything together and then my boots and leggings it's like makes everything very chill but still like trendy nice and i like it Okay, so this is the tiramisu. It's so good. I got the Oreo and the Nutella one. So excited to eat this. It's so good. Just made it to the airport. Honestly, it doesn't seem that crowded today. Like, when I usually get here, it's usually... 